Hey guys, Borg here with another Tron and Liberty video. In this one, I will be talking about what to do with all the excess gear you may accumulate while adventuring in the world of Solisium. So first, let's start with a reminder of basic stuff you should do with your items. And that will be utilizing an auction house to make some sweet premium currency. So first thing you should always check on the item is if it has saleable tag. None of my items here, as you can see, have it. But if you scroll down here a bit, I actually have some extracted trades, which you can see the icon for the market is yellow. So if you're lucky and you find normal item with this, you can sell it for quite a big sum of premium currency. Let's check on the Stormbringer crossbow. Go to auction house. We type the name of the item. So first thing you can see here is the price of the item and you can see the sum here is pretty hefty. Now the thing is always hover over the item to see how many units were sold. In this case it's only two. So the price you see here is probably not what it's gonna sell for. Now we can click on the item and see the one that is selling. It actually has heavy attack chance which is very good trade so maybe this item actually will be worth something. Now, the second thing, if you can't actually sell item on the auction house right away, is turning them into the lithograph. As you can see here, the price is a bit lower than just the normal item, but it's still pretty decent uh, sum of money. Now, the way I will do it is when you select the item, you can actually go and click on the lithograph. It will show you that you need this blank lithograph scroll for weapons. Now, here's a very interesting thing you have to have in mind. Craft the blank lithograph weapon book. You will need 50 enchanted ink, 20 mana steel. Well, you can actually exchange the resources, but 20 of resource, 10 polished crystal, and 10 precious rubixes. So let's actually see for how much those rubixes go on the market. So right now you have to pay, let's actually run this. You have to pay 70. You need 10 of them to make the lithograph scroll. So as you can see, the crossbow is selling for 1000 which means excluding the tax which is 22 percent right now you're gonna make 780 lucent so the profit of only 80 so in that case making this item into lithograph it just doesn't make any sense now the situation is a bit uh, easier so to speak uh, when it comes to armors and uh, accessories because all of those items require half of the resources and the rare resource used for making them is actually also cheaper. So in this case, we need the Stallone, which you can check on the market again. And you can see one sells for 9.8. So much, much cheaper. So my advice is be very, very careful when you go for weapon sales. It's probably better to just sell those precious stones unless you hit really good jackpot. But then you can always buy them from Flea. So... You only lose the 22% tax rate. Either way, if you end up with item that you can't make into lithograph book and it's not sellable on auction house, the last thing you can do is try to extract the trade from it and maybe then you can make some money. So again, that's the reason why I really like to just type the item in the auction house because it shows you everything you need to know right away. So this uh, silver border here means it's extracted trade. When you click on it, it will show you a list of all available ones and the price for each and every single one of them. On this item, the only trade I would sell would be Heavy Attack Chance, which goes for 300 Lucent. And the reasoning behind this is the minimum price on the auction house is 10 Lucent. It's the price for most of the green trades you're going to see on the, on the market. To extract trade from item, and in this case green item, you're gonna need one of those trade extraction stone. So that gives us very nice ratio. One extraction trade stone equals 10 lucent. For blue item, you require five of the trade stone, which means that I usually aim for at least 50 or more on blue trade item. And if you want to extract trade on the purple item, it's 25, which times 10, 250 would be probably bare minimum for me to sell the item. Because like if you think about it, you can just sell 25 green trades and you have the same value as selling one item with one purple trade with 250. Yes, it's probably not going to be that easy to sell that many green items, but this is just like a baseline. You can make it and tweak it the way you want. 
this is like completely fluid i just giving you an idea if you're not sure at what price you should go for those trades so now that we have the basic reminder behind us so what to do with all that excess gear we have well basically the next thing i would do is keep all the items with the trades that may be usable as a fodder for other items uh, trade upgrading so for weapons that usually would be heavy attack chance hit chance and critical strike chance for armor uh, this is tricky usually evasion goes for more than endurance but things probably gonna change uh, after people figure out that endurance is actually not as terrible as you may think then of course skill damage and skill resistance are insanely valuable max hp and maybe debuff duration it all depends on the item type either way if there's like some weird items you need for your build you just have to make sure to keep items um, corresponding to that all right so let's actually go with the real life uh, example of uh, blessing in action so i have this bow here with health region now if i would use purple gear that would be 100% chance to upgrade the health region trait. Now, but if I will go with the blue one, which for the weapon, you can use any weapon you want. You have 10% that is going to actually hit the upgrade and the rest blessing. You're going to get 40 of those blessing points. And if we accumulate 450, the next time we do this, it's going to be a guarantee upgrade. So if you like to min max, you probably can see here uh, a big uh, opportunity. If the purple trait let's say cost like 2000 lucent and the blue one costs only 100 and if you're gonna need 12 of them if you fail every single attempt that is still gonna be much much cheaper than buying the purple trade so let me demonstrate this in action so as you can see we didn't hit the trade but we can try again And as you can see, this time around, 10% was all that we needed. So we can try doing this one more time with the blue item. And we didn't hit it. Now we have 80 blessing on the item. Now we can do the same with the green ones on purple item. But you can see it's only 1% chance. But if you have a lot of those items and you don't care about the powder, well, you may just go and hit that big jackpot. As you can see, we missed. You gain only 8 blessing for uh, this type of transfer. Now, if you really believe in your RNG, you can use your blessing faster. You can see it here. We have 88. If you use blessing, we gain 8% chance here for the transfer. But when it comes to blue item, that is going to be 17%. This is actually explained here very well. Basically... We have 88 points of blessings the item is epic tier one here and we are using blue items that means every five points of a blessing is one percent extra chance of uh, instant upgrade so if you do the math here with 450 points you gain a plus 90 percent chance which means that's the guaranteed one for the transfer just have in mind the moment you tick this one and you go with your gamble chance you hit or miss all of the blessings is gonna be gone so another thing you may do with uh, items that are just sitting there in your stash you can see this little book icon that indicates that this item can be used in a lithograph so what we can do here is go to the lithograph book and now you can see all the list of items you can fit and the rewards you can get as you can see there are pretty insane ones here like for instance to get blue ball all you have to do is craft four green balls and you guarantee to get the blue one and maybe with some luck it's gonna roll with a good trade so you can use that weapon or just make a profit and sell it on the auction house with trade extraction there's plenty of rewards here for uh, different tiers of gear so make sure to check and uh, see what actually gonna be important to you just one thing when you do this you may actually select which one you're giving in so in our case we have magic evasion one and magic endurance in case of the green item it doesn't really matter but if you're going with higher tier maybe maybe check here and make sure you're not feeding uh, into the lithograph very important item 
so yeah make sure to check all those rewards here there's a lot of good stuff you can get even the lower tier ones are not necessarily that bad especially when it comes of getting your first blue and then maybe purple weapon all right the next thing we can do if there are no traits you want to keep on the gear what we can do is start dissolving items for powder which is a resource you're gonna need for a lot of things in the game now you can just manually dissolve all of the items and as you can see you gain 20 blue powder while uh, dissolving the blue item and there is a chance for zero to two of the purple and if we add everything those 100 to zero to ten precious one and then we just pay some solvent and dissolve now here's a big tip you really care about this powder what you can do is first upgrade the items so we have this one with mana region and then we have construct damage and we're just gonna unlock it right we lost one of the items but now we have item with two traits let's find out what's gonna happen when we will try to dissolve this item as you can see we're getting now 70 rare magic powder and still zero to two of the precious one now we can go with this even higher and each of those upgrades will actually start uh, piling up now when we try to dissolve this one it goes to 120 so it again increased by 50 rare magic powder now you may wonder what will happen if we want to upgrade traits uh, the same way we unlock them and now when we want to dissolve it's actually 60 extra rare magic powder now if there is a gambler in you there is another thing that you will be able to do in the game in the future unless amazon will decide not to add it to the game for some reason it's basically what you can see on the screen right now it's a little uh, pot that you drop items into think about uh, alchemy transmutation here this is called the uh, substance transformation you basically feed in items there it can be any item any rarity and with more items you drop there there's chance to unlock higher tier and maybe with some luck you're gonna get the uh, item that you need so this is all in this one thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video consider subscribing and i will catch you on the next one you